Stand by for action. We are about to launch Stingray. Anything can happen in the next half hour. Invincible craft I have built. Well, that sure is a great display, Your Excellency. You had every radio control target. And why not? The vessel cost me 500 million dollars to build. And don't forget, it requires only one man as its crew. And if I understand correctly, Your Excellency, you're presenting this gunboat to the World Security Patrol. Quite right, Commander. It's a little gesture for the service, accepting my country's application for membership. So, Your Excellency, it is with much pleasure that we welcome your country as a member of the World Security Patrol Service. <laughs> Thank you, gentlemen. I don't know how you have got along without me. Well, <clears throat> all that remains is for you to sign the... Excuse me, sir. Hmm? What's that? This message has just gone through, sir. Uh, give it to me. Yeah. <clears throat> yes, sir. All right, thank you. Uh, <clears throat> Your Excellency, uh, I'm afraid your membership cannot be accepted. What? Are you trying to tell me my country is not good enough? <clears throat> well, not exactly, but uh, I'm afraid you no longer have a country. What? There has been a revolt. <laughs> You big toe of a camel's left foot, you lie! I'm sorry, Your Excellency, but it's true. And the new government, led by your brother, does not wish to join world security. This is all your fault, you mule-headed, sand-eating scorpion. Why did you not have my brother arrested? But I did, Your Excellency, and you released him from jail. Yes, well... Um... Somebody must be to blame. Someone put him up to it. And I think I know who it was. The people around this table! 
You never wanted me to join the service. You wanted my gunboat, but not me. Now, hold on, Your Excellency. That's not true, and you know it. Well, no, Your Excellency. We sympathized with your government. No, you didn't. You planned it all. Sphinx of a thousand starless nights. That sounds like an insult to me. You are the small toe, as well as the large of a camel's left foot. While I was here, you sponsored the revolt. Calm down. We're not to blame. And what are you shaking your head for? Speak, green-haired one. Leave her alone. Marina can't speak. You mean, she remains silent? She's not like us? She's from under the sea. Have you ever seen anyone like her, Abu? If I had a country, I would take her back to it. You leave Marina alone. She's a member of the Wasps and she's going to stay that way. I guess you've had a lot to say, Your Excellency. None of which I like much. You'll kindly leave Marineville first thing tomorrow. Do not fear, big and small toe. I shall go. But mark my words well. I pronounce vengeance on the World Security Patrol and all its members. If you put one foot wrong, Stingray will hunt you down. <laughs> what is this, Stingray? It is useless compared with Wadi. I am a great big toe, and vengeance shall be mine. <laughs> Well, he could mean it, sure. He... Ah, he's just hot air. Anyway, he can't do much harm in the guest quarters for one night. Mm, already they snub me, Abu, and make me eat alone. Ah, uh, but I still have my gunboat, and I shall use it to cause havoc with the world security vessels and aircraft. That will make people take notice of you, Your Excellency. Mm, yes, and there's nothing that can stand up against my craft. Except Stingray. Stingray is only as good as its captain. If we hit Tempest where it hurts most, he will not attack. And where is that, Your Excellency? At his heart, Tabu. At his heart. I do not understand. <laughs> you will, Abu. Prepare to leave Marineville early. But first, this is what you have to do. This is my plan. Sir, there's no mistake. Marina has vanished from Marineville. What are you suggesting, Troy? El Hudat left Marineville early. I figure he took Marina with him. Could be, Troy. He was very interested in her yesterday. Maybe, but we've no certain proof. Let's check Marineville in the area first. Marina could have gone off on her own. We wish you no harm, Marina. See up. She says nothing. How wonderful. Not a single word. Set course for Monte Carlo. Oh, I can't wait to show her off. Yes, Excellency. And now, Marina, do you like my craft? Yes. It is beautiful, isn't it? A beautiful craft for a handsome owner. I'm glad you agree. My people saw how handsome and brave I was. They made me president. Even the oil recognized my greatness. It gushed forth and made my country rich. My, my charm and good looks became a legend throughout the world. People flocked to gaze upon my face. When my people cried out for me to be president, I made the country prosperous. But I thought the oil did that. Shut up and listen, Scorpion. Why aren't you as intelligent as Marina? Yes, 
What is it? A World Security Patrol aircraft is overhead, Your Excellency. Of what type is it? It is a remote-controlled freight airline. Good. My first repayment for the insults thrown at me by Marineville. Shoot it now! <laughs> Excellent! The first blow of vengeance. Wake up, lizard face son. Get me more food, I'm hungry! Yes, Excellency. Oh, I would like to see the look on that Commander Shore's face when he gets the news of my action. El Hudat has begun to carry out his threat. Shall I alert Stingray, Father? Yes, and tell Troy to go easy. Marina has not been found. She must be aboard. <laughs> What happens when we catch up with a gunboat, Troy? I don't know, Phones. We'll have to play it by ear. With Marina aboard, we can't afford to take any chances. So, you see, my dear, I will get back to power because I am great. I cannot help myself. Your Excellency, we have just sighted a ship half a mile away. What kind of ship, Abu? It is a passenger liner. Oh, let it go. I want no bloodshed. There are enough remote control cargo vessels on the seas. You, you, you understand, Marina. I, I am a peaceful man. I want no one to be harmed. I am a good man. That is my trouble. But Stingray will have been launched by now. That is a different matter. Troy Tempest insulted me, and this vessel is a threat. When we locate the Wadi, we'll have to surface phones. Yeah, but then we come within range of the gunboat's firepower. Mm, can't be helped. The only way we can stop El Hudat without harming Marina is to try to talk him into surrendering. I guess you're right, Troy. That means we gotta get close. A remote-controlled cargo vessel sighted, Your Excellency. Sick it! A direct hit, Your Excellency. <laughs> ah, good! This is truly an invincible craft I have built. And with you aboard, Marina, Stingray won't dare to attack. So, we shall have the first shot. And Stingray and Captain Tempest will be destroyed! <laughs> Gunboat dead ahead, Troy. Okay, phones. Give me the frequency. Gunboat Wadi, this is Stingray. Okay, Al Hudat, you've had your fun. Now let's just return to Marineville peaceably. And if I refuse, Tempest, then I'll blow you out of the water. <laughs> oh, come, come now. With the fair mariner aboard, oh, I think not, Tempest. You cannot attack, but I can. Leave the area before I fire one of my beautiful missiles. I'm not playing games, Hudat. Surrender or take the consequences. You've forgotten one thing, Tempest. I have Marina. If I die, she dies too. Marina knows that. She's a member of the Wasps. She's prepared to give her life if she has to. You bluff, Tempest. Try me, Hudat. You've got 60 seconds. He means it, Your Excellency. We must surrender. Surrender! Never. Stop squealing and prepare to fire a missile in 30 seconds. Tempest may be bluffing, but I am not. Hurry, Abu. The missile. 45 seconds, Hudat.
35 seconds, Houdat. Fire missile. Hard to stern phones, quick. Dive, dive, dive. <laughs> I did it. I sank Stingray. I am master of the seas. Oh, do not cry, Marina. Tempest and his friend had to die. They were a threat. It was them or me. You see how much he cared about you. He was willing to risk your life. Quite a performance, Phones. And I think we fooled him. They really think we're sunk. Yeah. Now what? Well, we move along the ocean bed beneath that gunboat until nightfall. Then I'm going to give them a little surprise. as if I'd never been here. And don't worry. like, my friend. El Houdat and Abu are sound sleepers. Tempest of Stingray, it worked like a charm phones. Stay with us. I'll see you in the morning. Mm. Oh, I slept like a baby marina. That is the secret of my beauty. Sound sleep. He snores like a pig. What was that, Jackal Face? Nothing, Your Excellency, nothing. I, I, I just said my chores are big. Mm, yes, and they'll be bigger if you don't get to Monte Carlo soon. So will your ears. Control room. When will we reach Monte Carlo? We will reach our destination in two hours. That's so. And it's not Monte Carlo. We're on our way back to Marineville. What? 
destroy Tempest in control on my ship? How did this happen? How dare he? Oh, this is all your fault. You told me Stingray had been destroyed. But, Your Excellency, you told me that. That's no excuse. You, 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 you flat-footed dromedary. Oh, it's your fault we're going back to Marineville and... I don't want to go. <laughs> Unfortunately, I have no power to sentence you personally for your flagrant acts of war. Your complete and utter disregard for anyone or anything other than yourself. Your conceit, your pomposity, your arrogance, and above all, your stupidity. Maybe you got away with doing these sort of things before, but not this time, Mr. Houdat. You will stand trial in the World High Court. Let me there. What was it? Hmm? Now, give it to me. Uh, it would appear, Your Excellency, that there has been a counter-revolution in your country. You have been returned to power. And congratulations. I have been returned to power once again. Now I will have my revenge on all of you. Your Excellency, now we can join the World Security Patrol again. Yes, Lizard Head, I know that. I demand membership at once. Of course, Your Excellency. Uh, if you just sign the agreement. Welcome. To the World Security Patrol. Welcome, nothing. Now I am a member of the Wasps. You'll be wishing you'd never been born when I finish with your sun beetles. I will see to it that you are thrown out of the service. I will be in charge. There's just one thing, Your Excellency. Now that you are members, you come under our laws. Under Section 27, Paragraph 14, Subclause 4, you are liable to sentence by my hand for acts of willful damage to patrol property. What, 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 what? What does this mean? Five years imprisonment. That's what it means. I repeat, welcome to the World Security Patrol. Oh, this is all your fault. Jackal of the waterless desert. If you had not made me join the security patrol, I'd be a free man now. But it was your idea to join. Shut up, Scorpion. When I get back to our country, I'll exile you forever. That is, if you still have a country in five years, Your Excellency. Remember, your brother is not in jail. You are. Get this lizard out of here! I demand his removal! I am a member of the World Security Patrol. Get him out! Get him out! <laughs> Strange enchantments that start whenever you're near. Marina, Aqua Marina, why can't you whisper the words that my heart is longing to hear? Your magic to me, a beautiful. Mystery. I'm certain to fall, I know, because you enthrall me so. Marina, Aqua Marina, why 
don't you say that you'll always stay close to my heart? 